Hello people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be me like sharing some of my most favorite Pinterest quotes or paragraphs or all that because I keep reading a lot of them and I just thought I want to share it here and that's it. Let's read. One day you will wake up refreshed, drink coffee and be able to read a book the same way you did when you were little. You will have a cat who calls up to sleep on your lap or a playful dog who is happy to see you. You will be the kindest you can be listening to stories and checking up on people often. You will make pancakes in the morning and decorate your abode with plants, your old paintings and cozy fusions. You will fill photo albums and bloody photos of your new friends and road trips and summery evenings. You will visit your favorite bakery and library often and keep in touch with people you love. Things won't be perfect, but you will be at peace with yourself and you will be in love with life again. So nice, right? And I love, love, love Pinterest quotes. Little things in life is all that matters. What you look like. You are the music you listen to, the shows you watch, the art you make, the flowers in your hair and your favorite blanket. You are not the pimple on your nose or the pudge on your tummy. You are not your thighs or your teeth. You are the color of your hair. You are the mismatched socks you wear and your favorite sweater. You are not what you look like or the body you are in. You are what you love. My mom says she's not a hugger, but when I put my arms around her on a gloomy day or after bad news, she's the last to let go. My dad says he doesn't want gifts on his birthday, but I see the way his face lights up when I get him a card with a nice message and a box full of chocolates anyway. He's just a kid inside. Still, it makes him giddy. My brother never says I love you, but when I tell him I just need to finish the dishes before I vacuum, he wordlessly goes to vacuum the entire house before I can. And if he sees me struggle with a wrapper or a jar or a bottle, he mutters, come here and opens it for me without even sparing me a glance. The thing is, people love you quietly and you love them quietly. And the air is buzzing with tiny but grand gestures. And once you look for them, you find them everywhere, I think. That is really beautiful. So good. One of the greatest prisons people live in is the fear of what other people think of them. So true. So this is like, be the reason someone feels welcomed, seen, heard, valued, loved and supported. That's important. That's the most important thing in the world. Make everyone feel loved. <laughs> Just be the freaking person who cares more. Be the person who tries harder, loves stronger, gives more of a shit than all of the half alive people who surround them. Be the person who answers their messages, shows up their commitments and doesn't leave others hanging or guessing at the eternally vague intentions. Be the person you wish you were dating. If you are sick of the game then stop playing it. If you are tired of the bullshit then cut it. Because the last thing this world needs is one more indifferent person. If you are the only one left with passion then use it. Use the hell out of it. At the end of your life, go out with a bruised up, worn out heart that gave too much and loved up too strongly and felt too fiercely. Go out with the certainty that you gave it everything you had and didn't hold anything back. Go out empty handed when it comes to should haves and might have spins. Because it's an infinitely more fulfilling way to live than the alternative. It will always be more honorable to be out in the field getting trampled on than to become the silence feeling superior for never being tried. So good, right? Kahidur Jabdin Kalin जलाए कहीं दूर जब दिन ढल जाए